Hello. Blessings to all. This is Tabisha Dom Unique, and you are tuned in to Going Hard for Jesus. Today we are discussing who I am. I was blessed with a letter from my aunt, which gave several scriptures to keep me empowered. And this is what I'd like to share with you this evening. Empowerment in Christ. Who are you? The question came across your mind one time or another. It may have crossed your mind many times in trouble and you felt unworthy of your life or you felt alone. The Bible has many scriptures that testifies who you are. I'm going to give you the scriptures and you can also pick the ones that desire that make you smile. Who are you? Now, these are just going to be the strong points, and I'd like you to spend some time with the Father to go more in depth into the scripture for the fullness of it. So this is not word for word. You cannot mess with the Father's word. The scriptures that I give you behind the statement are to support the statement so that you can see that is the truth that I'm sharing with you. Do you know who you are? Who are you? I am the salt of the earth. That can be found in Matthews 5 verse 13. I am a child of God. That can be found in John chapter 1 verse 12. I am part of the true vine and Christ's life flows through me. Support to that scripture to that can be found in John 15, 1 and 5. I am Christ's friend. John 15, 15. I am chosen by Christ to bear fruit. That can be found John 15:16. I am Christ's personal witness, sent out to tell everybody about him. That's me right now. <laughs> that can be found in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. I am a slave of righteousness, as we all should be working towards being. That can be found in Romans 6, 18. I am a slave to God, making me holy and giving me eternal life. Romans 6, 22. I am a child of God. I can call him my father. That can be found in Romans 8, 14 and 15 and also Galatians chapter 3, 26 and also chapter 4, verse 6. I am a co-inheritor with Christ, inheriting his glory. Romans eight seventeen. Now remember, if you're just logging in, that this is not scripture for scripture. The statements that I'm giving you are found more in depth through scripture in the scriptures that I give you behind the statements to make sure that I'm definitely telling you the truth. If you have any problem thinking about wondering, who are you? 
if you're going through trouble, if you're going through unworthiness, we all going through something. It's a lot of people hurting right now. But do you know who you are? Who are you? Have you found out about who you are? I am chosen to share in God's heavenly calling. That can be found in Hebrews 3.14. I am chosen of God, holy and dearly loved. That can be found in Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 4. I am expression. I am an expression of the life of Christ because he is my life. Colossians chapter 3 verse 4 I am righteous and holy. If you're not righteous and her holy, <laughs> then you should be working towards that because that's the overall goal so that we can take in all the wonderful promises that our Father has for us and that can be found in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24 I am God's building project his handiwork created in Christ so I can help others Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 I am a citizen of heaven seated in heaven right now Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 I am a child of God and one with others in his family Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 and 28 I am a new person my past is forgiven and everything is new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 I am joined forever to the Lord and I am one spirit with him. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 I am a temple, dwelling place for God. His spirit and his life live in me. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16, also chapter 6 verse 19. I am hidden with Christ in God. Colossians 3 3 and as I said this is a letter it was a blessing that was sent to me by my aunt um, quite some time ago and I held on to it because we've all been through so many different phases in our life that the question continuously may come up at different times in your life where you have to look in the mirror and think about who you are. So many times I've wasted time, money, energy because I was out in the world trying to do everything for myself. I didn't call on Jesus. And ever since I started going hard for Jesus, I have to stop beating myself up because I was told that nothing is a cakewalk, but it has taken a lot of weight off of my back that led me into the world. Because I tried to take on the world alone. And I didn't have to. Continuing with supporting scriptures 
for the statements that I say in regards to who we are. I am the great I am. That's not you. <laughs> That's Jesus. Exodus chapter 3 verse 14. John chapter 8 verse 24, 28 and 58. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. 1 Corinthians 15, 10. I am an enemy of the devil. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 I am born again in Christ and the evil of the devil could not touch me 1 John chapter 5 verse 18 I am a member of a chosen race a royal priesthood a holy nation a people belonging to God 1 Peter chapter 2 Verses 9 and 10. I am only a visitor to this world in which I temporarily live. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 11. I am a child of God and will be like Christ when he returns. That's coming out of 1 John chapter 3 verses 1 through 2 knowing that you are truly living in the last days and as I've said before if you don't feel a shift in the universe then you already been compromised and you need to take a minute and give God some time to bring you up to speed before you lose time. And at the end of this cruel world approaching quickly, we are to remember the things God promised for our future. It don't seem at all likely of what we're experiencing today. If you think about it, depending on where you are in your life, it may not seem like you planned it or thought it would be or feel like it should be what God has given you. From our limited perspective, we don't see the big picture, only tiny thumbnail print. All of us may be experiencing something difficult and uncomfortable that will result in something better. It's important to remember that sometimes our troubles are only a monetary detour leading us to God's best for us all. So people, step out of yourself and look around to help someone else in need. Step away from what you have going on in your life for just a minute. Sharing God's word, sharing my testimony, it helps to strengthen me knowing that it's nothing but the truth. And I didn't know what truth was because I wasn't living the truth. I was living in a lie. It was a world that I wanted it to be. 